Now before uploading image to the storage, uh, we have to create a user model class with the help of which uh, we can access the user data across our app. That is, we will share it with the help of user model class. So for that purpose, right click on lib, new, create a new folder. You will give it name as models. Then right click on models, new, dot file. And let's give it name as user underscore model. user model you already know that the information associated with the users are the first one we have is the UID of the user unique identification number whenever a new user is created in the Firebase authentication a unique ID assigned to each user which is newly created okay so that is UID. Next thing you already know is the name which you take as an input from a user and then email and then password and guys one thing is please use same key names okay same variables name okay please use same variable names by these same names uh, we will use these as keys as well when we are going to store the user information in the Firestore database okay so please use same names because later you will get confused if you use different So require this dot UID with the help of model uh, constructor user model we will receive here all these parameters UID name email password so we have name email and password now the data which uh, which we will save to the Firestore database of course it is UID name email and password alongside with the download URL of the profile image of the user it will save in the database we have to send it as a map or you can say in JSON format basically which is a key value pair So we can say to JSON or it is this format is also similar to map. So you can say call it to map or to JSON same okay. But we have to access it by the same name which we write here. So we can proceed with to JSON. Now this is basically uh, what it means is it is basically a format like like this here we have key inside the quotes and then the value of it for example the value of UID is inside this variable okay by which key name we want to save it inside the Firestore database we want to save it inside the Firestore database by the same key name which is UID similarly for the other ones So this user model class will basically help us in saving the user information to the Firestore database in JSON format. So anyways, let's come back here and now we can call up our user model class to which we will assign the data. And you already know that that is something which is first one the user ID, name, email and password. So first, uh, as you know that we created the user with firebase authentication and that user we assigned to this user created so first we have to get the uid using this user created so we can say string uid
user created dot user dot uid so we get the created user uid from the authentication and we assign that uid to the string type uid variable now one by one we have to pass this to our uh, user model class so first we have uh, uid next thing is the name then the email and then of course the password that is these four parameters we have to pass which will be received here okay uid name email and password so you already know that we have the uid of the created user inside this variable let's in order to differentiate it we will give it name as uid of uid of created user so we can say uid uid of created user next thing is the name which is basically name input then email input then password input one more thing is cut this here first and remove these curly braces only okay just like this user model and then paste back the values which are these do not put curly braces okay only these parentheses as you can see now one more thing which we need here is the profile image as well we have to uh, save to the firestore database so we have to mention it here inside our uh, model class so we can give it name as uh, image which is basically the profile image of the user will be so we can say required remove this required keyword from here okay so we can say this dot image and this image this thing we will wrap and in, put inside the curly braces like this okay so user model make sure inside the parentheses okay all these four parameters then the fifth one inside the curly brass which is this dot image and we will assign to it an empty string for now of course now when we will upload the image then the image value will be assigned that is it will come here and it will be replaced with this null so the actual image url will be assigned to this so anyways let's come back here for now from here we are not passing the image okay automatically for now uh, an empty string will be assigned to that but of course now when we proceed now we are uploading the image once the image is uploaded successfully we will get the download url then we will assign it to our this image so anyways what we can do now is first of all make sure that we add if condition okay and we will say that we will check if the uid of created user if this is not become equals to null that is the id must exist only then user model i mean this line of code we will execute now once it is executed the next thing that we will do is basically to upload image upload image to storage and what we are going to do this information which is user data okay which contains uid name email password we will pass this user data to this method and now let's implement this method above the sign up user now method we can implement it now you know that the type of this is user model first we will check 
if the user has successfully pick or choose an image using the web that is from his or her computer so which is by the name selected image so we will check if selected image not equals to null if it equals to null then we will display a snack bar message so the user will know that okay I have this problem which the user must fix so what we can do we can simply say inside the else just press this snack bar and we will say please choose image first or you can say image is missing now let's start uploading so we are going to create a reference to the firebase uh, to the firebase storage okay to the storage so we can say reference image reference equals to firebase storage dot reference dot instance dot reference and inside the storage uh, we will create a folder that is using this code it will automatically create the folder which will be by the name profile images and inside the profile images folder we will save the image file by the user UID name so the name of the image will be the user ID so we can say user data dot UID and at the end of that image file it will have an extension dot JPG so what it means inside the storage we will have a profile images folder under that folder we will have each user profile images that is every user profile image will be inside this profile images folder so for example the current user that is let's say the first user when create that user image will be inside the storage inside this profile images folder and we can recognize each uh, user profile image by the that is the name of the image will be the user ID that is by the user ID we are using as a name for that profile image of that user so as we have the reference now we are going to now upload so we can do that using upload task so we can say task image reference dot put data as we have the image in bytes form so what we do here we want to upload or you can say add this image file at this reference and this reference you already know inside the profile images by this name we want to save the user profile image so it will basically start the uploading you can say the upload start task will be started and then we can deduct that is when the task dot when complete when it is uploaded successfully then as a result we will get a download URL that is in order to access that image file so we have to wait for the upload when it is completed successfully okay that's why we are waiting here so we will get that we will get that download URL So we get the download URL of that uploaded image and we will assign it to a variable and we will give it name as URL image which is the URL image of the uploaded profile image of the user and we will assign that URL image to our user model which is basically this user data okay the name of it so to the user data or you can say user model image so we assign that URL image 
to this user data dot image which is basically this one okay this one was left so that image value is updated here that is that actual image URL is assigned to it so instead of empty string now it has the actual image URL download image URL and you already know I think about this download URL whenever we upload any file or any image file to the storage then when it is uploaded successfully we get a URL as a response using that URL we can access that image file from anywhere we want okay so that's that is the download URL about which I'm talking